let's catch up on all the full times then. And this is the final day of League One. <clears throat> uh, Barnsley nil, Peter, but two. What a day for Darren Ferguson and his side. Start of the day knowing they needed the win and for Derby to lose for the playoffs. There were one or two other scenarios, but not very likely. And they had to do it at Oakwell, where Barnsley had won 14 of the last 16 home games. But Peterborough winning by two goals to nil. Clark Harris with his 26th of the season. Jack Taylor got the other goal. And uh, terrific Peterborough support, by the way, up at Oakwell today. And they will all travel home very happy, safe in the knowledge that they have finished sixth and will play <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday in the playoff semi-finals. Bristol Rovers 2, Bolton Wanderers 3. Bolton Wanderers will be in those playoffs as well. They will play Barnsley. Um, and uh, goals from Shore Tiri and Dan Unlundulu and Aaron Morley for them. Uh, Luca Hool got uh, a Bristol Rovers goal uh, and John Marquis with the other goal. Rovers finished with five defeats in six. Bolton in those playoff places. They finish in fifth spot uh, after that 3-2 away win today. Burton Albion nil, MK Dons nil, the only goalless game of the day. And a goalless game that means Mark Jackson's Dons are down. They've not won in the last eight games and by virtue of that scoreline at the Pirelli Stadium and the one below it at the Abbey Stadium, Cambridge United stay up and the Dons go down. Cambridge United, two goals. Harrison Dunk and Sam Smith with his 14th of the season against a Forest Green side who've already been relegated and finished the season, by the way, with an unenviable record of not having kept a single clean sheet in what was their f uh, away from home in what was their first ever season at this level. Uh, Cheltenham 2, Charlton 2... And um, a point of peace for two sides have had pretty satisfactory seasons. Aidan Keener, four in four for him for um, Cheltenham. Charlton uh, scored through Scott Fraser and Payne. And then um, who else but Alfie May? He got his 22nd of the season to earn Cheltenham a point in their final home game of the campaign. Extra beaten Morecambe by three goals to Morecambe relegated despite two Cole Stockton goals. He finished the season on a high seven in four for him. But a Jay Stansfield hat-trick um, means that Exeter City end on a winning note. It would be Jay Stansfield's final game for Exeter as well. He's on loan there from Fulham, be going back to his parent club. What an impact he has made since he's been down at his dad's old club. Uh, Fleetwood 2, Ipswich 2. No title for Ipswich today then, but they do pick up a point on the road. They stretched their unbeaten run to 19 league games. They've scored 101 goals, more than anybody else in English football. Their two today came from Freddie Ladapo with his 21st of the season and Marcus Harness with his first since November. But Jack Marriott, uh, whose first club was Ipswich, just played a handful of times, never scored for them. He got both the Fleetwood goals, his 14th and 15th of the season, and it finishes 2-2. Lincoln have beaten Shrewsbury by a goal to little Matty Virtue's 73rd-minute goal for Mark Kennedy. South, who finished in the top half of the table, probably better than expectations in truth at the start of the campaign. Shade Dunkley sent off for Shrewsbury in that second half, uh, but they too finish in mid-table. Oxford United 1, Accrington Stanley 2. Uh, Oxford United uh, with a goal from Billy Bowden, uh, his second in two games. They were safe going into this by virtue of their decent goal difference. Uh, Added Doyen scored his first away goal for Accrington Stanley to level things up. Aaron Presley got a winner. So Accrington, effectively already relegated before today, have at least gone out with a flourish after five seasons in League One. They've won away from home in their final game at this level. Port Vale 1, Plymouth Argyle 3, and Plymouth are the champions. Their first title in 19 years. They win League One despite an early blow. They fell behind as early as the third minute. James Plant put the home side in front, but back came Plymouth. Adam Randall, all of his Plymouth goals have been away from home. He scored a fine goal for Plymouth to level things up. Joe Edwards made it 2-1 to the visitors, and Finn Azaz in what is... His final game of his loan spell from Aston Villa put the icing on the cake. A 3-1 win for them. 31 league wins equals their club record and they are the champions. Portsmouth 2, Wickham Wanderers 2. Just a bit of pride at stake here. Remember, Wickham had never won 
in the EFL at Fratton Park. Looked like they might be going to. Uh, they led through Gareth McCleary, but uh, Marlon Pack equalised to the home side. They led again through Lewis Wing and one of the goals of the season from him is ninth of the campaign, scoring from uh, just inside the half that they were uh, attacking. Looked up and lobbed the goalkeeper absolutely brilliantly. But Paddy Lane, his first Portsmouth goal after his move from Fleetwood, uh, levelled it up for Portsmouth and earned them a share of the points. And stretches are unbeaten run to 11, by the way, but they've drawn six of the last seven, and that's why they are not in the playoff picture. And Sheffield Wednesday beat Derby County. Michael Smith's penalty is 20th of the season. He's got four in his last two. They are unbeaten in 19 home league games. They finished third in the table. That was always going to be the case. But the turning point here, no doubt about it, the award of that penalty just before half-time and the red card given to Curtis Davis in the same incident. And try as they might, Derby's ten men could not find a way past a resolute Sheffield Wednesday side. And uh, consequently, Derby will finish just outside, agonisingly, outside the playoff places. And here is confirmation for you. Plymouth are the champions, 101 points. Brilliant for them. Ipswich finishing second on 98 points with 101 goals. Terrific effort from Kieran McKenna's side. Sheffield Wednesday, Barnsley, Bolton and Peterborough in the playoff places. It's Sheffield Wednesday against Peterborough, <coughs> Barnsley against Bolton. Derby miss out by one point after their defeat today at Hillsborough. They finish seventh. Portsmouth finish in eighth place, Wickham ninth. Charlton a top ten finish for them. Lincoln a top half finish for them. And also for Shrewsbury, a good season for them under Stevie Cottrell. They finish in the top half as well. Down at the bottom, Forest Green been relegated for some weeks now. We knew that Accrington were down before kickoff today. Cambridge United started third from bottom, but they survive. Morecambe and MK Dons are relegated on 44 and 45 points, respectively. Cambridge survive on 46. Then come Oxford on 47, Port Vale 40. And Bristol Rovers had a decent enough season, having been promoted uh, last season under Joey Barton. Absolutely sound and safe. And the same you can say for Cheltenham in 16th spot. Burton Albion, by the way, they were second from bottom at Christmas. So uh, the plaudits go to Dino Mamria, who has uh, helped them turn the corner. They finished 15th. Exeter and Fleetwood, again, just below halfway. Exeter promoted last season. They'll be very happy with that. Fleetwood will be playing at this level, League One, for the 10th consecutive season next season.